This is the gas station food fishing challenge. Oh! Yes! That is a fine piece of American made meat right there. That is looking flossy, man. Oh! Yo, Yo! <laughs> I'm just gonna take a bite out of this roll. Oh, yes! No yes! Way. Yes! Me and Fletcher are gonna go into the store behind us and pick out five items to catch fish with. And the first person to catch a fish on three out of their five items wins the challenge. We can pick out any food of our choice, but we need to choose carefully because we can target any species of fish in the pond. Bass, bluegill, catfish, and more are all on the menu. And without further ado, let's head into the store behind us and pick out our food. Choo. All right, boys and girls, we're out at the pond. Got the boy flesh. Hey, give me some, boy. Yes, sir. And we are not at any pond. We are at the 15 pounder secret pond. There are 15 pounders lurking in these waters, and we're finna catch a big one on either a gummy worm or <laughs> a beef jerky stick. A chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich, turkey sandwich, you name it. Hey, we're going for the big. What'd you get? Uh, Twix bar? Twix bar. <laughs> Man, we got everything, boys. This is actually our first food challenge on the Kick of the Bass channel, so I'm excited about it. But before we even hop into anything, I wanna go over the food that I bought at the store and then also have Fletcher go over it. And then we're just gonna strategize our game plans. First person to three fish does not matter the species. Wins the challenge, baby. Let's hop into it. All right, boys, we got a food sack here. I'm gonna open her on up. Take a peek inside, boys. Take a, look at that. Oh yeah. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could, take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. Let's go ahead and uh, show you guys what we got. So we were allowed to choose five items from the gas station. I actually have four of my items right here. First, I actually have a cheese stick, baby. And guess what? It ain't no normal cheese stick. We got a little bit of pepperoni action going on. It looks tasty, don't it, Fletch? I would probably eat that. I'm not going to lie. I, mean, I, I could take a bite out of that thing right now, you know? It could go down the hatch. So that is our first bait. I saw this like last minute and I was like, man, that just sounds like a good idea. So we got some cheese, a little bit of pepperoni. These are probably my favorite. We got the Albanese, world's best. Very bold statement. That folks. is. I don't know. That might be a little puffery. The, ol me. the only reason I bought these was because they're supposedly the world's best. And I was like, look at the colorways, man. Let's say you got a little bit of green pumpkin, a little bit of June bug action. Which one are you going with? What you feeling with this water clarity? Dude, I, I love that like purple and green, the purple and kicking green looking one. You know, that looks spicy. So we got some gummy worms, got some pepperoni, got some sweet tart strings. And uh, this is gonna work perfectly as like a worm on like a Texas rig. <laughs> I think they're gonna smoke, bro, they're gonna smoke <laughs> this thing, bro. absolutely crushed. <laughs> they're gonna smoke it. Out of everything you got, that's my favorite one. Oh, dude, it looks spicy. And we didn't really think about this, Flex. It's 100 degrees outside and my chocolate's getting a little melted. And <laughs> <laughs> we did not think that through. <laughs> so I wanted to get a Snickers bar, but I ended up finding this protein bar and it's caramel and cashew. And the whole idea with the caramel is obviously because it's more like solid, you know what I mean? So who knows, we might be able to catch one on some chocolate today. What was that? Wilson's got a big one. Wilson, that's a fish? Yeah. Oh, oh my, my god, god, that's lead. bigger than a four. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what? There you go. Oh, they're oh, they going to eat the sweet tarts today, baby. <laughs> hey, they're going to eat the sweet tarts. <laughs> oh my god, that's a tank, Wilson. Grab him, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Our goal is to fish Wilson with... Uh, with gas station food today. Listen, you see that boy's pretty beefy over there? He's gonna want himself a protein bar, you know what I mean? So I only showed you all four of my choices and we have one more, man, and this one's special. I actually got my favorite item from Parker's Kitchen. That's not it, actually, this, this is it right here. We got a spicy chicken sandwich, baby. Wilson, what do you think about that, man? Oh, he wants some. You think he, he want a bite? Buy. Oh, yeah. Does he want a bite to go? There we go, baby. Look at this. We got a spicy chicken sandwich no. with some spicy <laughs> cheese on top. Listen, we, we got some extra pickles. Wilson's going crazy, man. He wants a bite of it. Look at that, man. Some crispy french fries. Delish. Bro, look at that. That's my five items. But uh, you guys comment below. Which which of the five items did I pick to, that you guys think is going to catch a giant today? But without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what Fletcher got. Well, Noah had some good options. You know, he just doesn't have the, the 
palate like quite like I do. You know what I mean? I got these fish unlocked. You already know they're going to be dialed on that ham and cheese pattern it's today. Actually a, it's a turkey sandwich. Sorry, first. turkey, <laughs> turkey and wheat. <laughs> you know, we might have grabbed the wrong one. We're going for the ham and Swiss, but you know, I think we can manage with the turkey. So that is option number one. I think we're just going to put that on a separate rod, let it dangle off the side, and just kind of see what happens while we're out trying to catch some fish with our candy lures. Outside of that, we're also probably running into a similar situation with Noah, which is the fact that uh, this is probably going to melt quickly out here in the 90 degree sun. So I'm probably going to start with this, if I'm being completely honest, hoping the caramel keeps this thing intact. Going to be kind of like a, a Ned rig. I might be able to break it in half and use it as a Ned is my initial train of thought. We'll see what it actually uh, performs like once we get to it. Outside of that, we got the jerky, the Jack Lynx baby, 100% beef, and that right there is 10 pounder candy. If there's one bait out of everything we selected, I feel like that's gotta be money. Bringing it on home, we got two more things to go. And the first one is our Sour Punch straws. Just gonna be a nice worm imitation. Got a little flavor to keep them holding on once they bite. Hopefully the sour doesn't scare them off. It might, but we're gonna set that hook quick with those. I could take a bite out of that right I now. I mean, flush. shoot, dude, I'm, I'm gonna be eating my own bait today. That was my <laughs> issue. That's why I said we could pick five options because I was like, we might just be snacking, I should have picked some know? things I didn't like, to be honest. <laughs> and finally, but not least, we got the Hubba Bubba Bubble Tape. And this is also gonna be kind of in that worm category as far as what I'm going for. We're gonna try to make this look like a little worm that pink bubble gum should be money. Without further ado, guys, it is time to get to Fish and Fletcher. Whoever catches three fish on three different food items is crowned the gas station food champion, baby. Woo, dude, I want a trophy. I need you to like spray paint me some gas station food and gold to put Wilson, on my Wilson, you're taking games. notes. Whoever wins this, we got to get a trophy made, okay? Trophy made. All right, Fletcher, are you ready, brother? I'm I need ready. a round of applause, man. Come on, clap it up for the food challenge, baby. Come on. <laughs> Let's get into it, son. All right, boys, we're hopping right into this. I'm gonna go ahead and pick my first bait. So I think Fletcher said he was using the chocolate, so I'm gonna go with something a little different. We're gonna start off with the gummy worms, and we're gonna pop these bad boys open, give them a little taste test, slap one on the hook. Hopefully, catch us a toad, man. You want one, Fletcher? Oh yeah, give me. For the road, bro. Yeah, let me get a, a test review, trial. Mm. Oh, dude, these are fire. They're like really, uh, they're really soft. Mm -hmm. These might be the world's best gummies. I'm not gonna lie. So we got a bunch of different color options. And to be honest with you guys, I think I gotta go with what I was wanting to, which is the green and purple gummy worm. So we're gonna start off with that. Let me show you exactly how we're gonna rig it. So we actually have a small Ned head here. And we should, oh yeah, look at this. Be able to just thread this thing up on the Ned Rig hook. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> yo, Fletch, this is too perfect, dude. I think you're gonna be jealous of this. <laughs> look at that, dude. But That's my biggest Fletch, concern with that. Tell me that doesn't look saucy, dog. Oh, that is getting <laughs> But guys, that is looking flossy, man. If there's a bait that we picked out today, this just might be the deal. Little gummy worm on a Ned rig. We're gonna tie this puppy up real quick. Here we go, guys. We're gonna get started with the Twix. One thing I did not really think through was how are we gonna rig this to a hook? Uh, Cause it's not really flexible um, to my knowledge. And we kind of need it to be the, to thread it. So hopefully it has like enough malleability here, uh, especially with it being a little melted to kind of get a hook through it and stay in there. Oh, nope, That's, that just broke off. Let's take a little take a little nibble of that. This might have been a bad move. Um, maybe if it was the winter, um, this could be a good idea. But pro tip, if you're going to be fishing with gas station food in 90 degree weather, don't pick chocolate. <laughs> I'm glad we were able to get five baits because I don't even, you know, we're going to come, we're going to come to this one last now that I think about it. <laughs> let's just, um, <laughs> let's just put that back in the wrapper with that, uh, that failing miserably for us. Let's go ahead and grab our sour straw. I think this is gonna be our safest bet. Let's get this out of the package and see if we can't get this thing rigged up and catch us a fish. But you know, we gotta taste test first. Always gotta taste test. 
Quality control is a must. Pass the taste test. Mm. Bro, that's looking fire. That looks so good. Not as durable as I thought. This one, this one is also falling apart. Maybe I just mold it onto this thing like this. We're just doing a, Ooh. a little like a Ned. We're gonna kind of take Noah's jam here. I promise I'm not copying them. You know, this was in the back of my mind as a possibility, but uh, I kind of like that. It's one to stick together and like reform into a new shape for me. We're gonna go with the Sour Straw Ned. Got it, gotta do it, baby. Gotta do it, we're locking it in. All right, dude, we're starting, Fletch. You guys think the gummy worm or the Sour Straw Ned's gonna strike first? I think we're both gonna get smunched though. I'm not gonna lie. Looks pretty good. The moment we've all been waiting for, gummy worm Ned rig. Fletcher's got his little Sour Straw. Like, I feel like I could for sure catch a fish on this. It's just a matter of how long it actually stays on this hook. Dude. You don't have one, no way. <laughs> I'm stuck. I don't know what I'm stuck on. Snag first cast? Yeah, first cast snag is kind of ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hey, look at that, dude. Hold it up. Yeah. I'm dude, it's almost, too. it's really clear now, too. It's like almost a translucent color. See how it... It just has more of like a clear feel. Oh, yeah. He is breaking up a little bit, but good thing we only have 150 gummy worms in that <laughs> bag. So I think we're good. But as far as the color, you know, I'd rather have a darker color in this water, personally. Oh! Did you throw your, your gummy? I, I didn't throw my gummy, but the purple half came off. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. We're just stuck with the kicking green, man. I think I'm gonna have to retire this one. Dude, he's all slimy. You don't want to go with the half worm? I don't know, man. I'm not really feeling the half piece. I might go with a different color this time, guys. There, there was a color in here I, I was eyeballing. Oh, yeah. This one right here. Look at it. It has like a whitish blue on top, and it's got the dark blue on the bottom. That's, dude, that's fire. If there was a Ned bait in food form, Fletch, I think it would just be this gummy worm. And this grass line's looking spicy. We might have an issue, boys. <laughs> we, we got like a three cast deal going on with these gummy worms. Dur durability is not uh, the strong suit of this. It is not. I'm going with watermelon red, baby. Ooh. Look at that. Got a little it. bit of green and red. Dude, they're getting really uh, soggy. I'm not gonna lie. My Ooh. sour punch straw does seem like it might be dwindling a little bit. Not too bad though. Looks like it's just like just dissolving as a whole. Like. See how much smaller it's gotten? Like oh, shriveled oh up. Is it hard? Oh! Did you just have one follow you? No, dude. My dang. My <laughs> it fall off again? Dude, yeah. This is this is becoming an issue, boys. We're going through every color in the book at this point. I don't have as many worms as, uh, or I don't have as many straws as Noah has worms. So I'm trying to be very conservative with every cast here. Look at this one, dude. A little bit of white, like a clear with a orange tip. I feel like I'm just fishing with the hook right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and break into my sour straw. I had one off camera the, the second ago because I thought this was gonna gonna be a little bit more durable. Turns out it can dissolve, and that might have been a bad move. Could have been a bad move because we might have to resort to having to actually fish with that Twix, which <laughs> is gonna be bad news, bears. Oh 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 oh. I just got oh. hammered, dude. I got hit. There was no joke in that one right there, man. That was it. Hold on, brother. Oh, look. He ate, he ate the orange oh, off. No, dude. They, they've been falling off. <laughs> I think you're throwing it. No, 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 dude. Plus, he smoked that thing. I actually, bro. I swear. I swear if you catch this fish, I'm going to be butt hurt. <laughs> I'm actually going to be butt hurt. We're going with the red and green, dude. I'm gonna throw it in there and he's gonna eat it, Fletch. I'm gonna prove you wrong here. You're gonna see it. That would actually be insane. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm throwing them off like left and right now. <laughs> Did you just fling it yeah, dude, like this oh, is no. becoming an issue. I'm not gonna lie. If my worms were cold, I feel like- <laughs> The heat, the heat's getting Like cold. I'm getting to the point where I'm just getting tired of taking these back pieces off, dude. That's my seventh one. <laughs> you got a like graveyard of half-eaten gummy worms. <laughs> or half-melted. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Sorry, I almost took you out. <laughs> I almost took you out. Yo. That was a bite. Really? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, dude, now look, mine's got like a curly tail now. Look at that. That looks wild. Like curly tail. A little swimmer. All right, we're getting some bites now, Fletch. I feel like it's about to go down. I need to, I need to optimize my, uh, my strategy here, guys. I'm gonna put this up because we gotta, we gotta put on a new sour punch trawl anyways, because this one is uh, on its last leg here. But let's put this to the side for a second, while we actually rig up a second rod to just, you know, bake and soak in the water underneath the boat as we kind of move around this pond. So I'm thinking some of my sandwich on this. Ooh, gonna be looking good. I'm not gonna lie, I got bit again, dude. Like again? there's, yeah, they're loaded. They're loaded. They're nibbling at it. Like it's gotta be bluegill. I'm getting bit almost every cast now. Dude, eat it, you. Wiener. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. He's being a weenie. Okay, guys, we got this sandwich right here. What part do we want to use? I think we might just do like a, a little little bite. Let's just take like, if I were to take a bite, I'm thinking the fish are kind of on that same vibe. If he asked me, a little meat, a little cheese, a little bread, and we're gonna just clump this right on here. Call this a fish sandwich. It's not actually fish in a sandwich, but it's a sandwich made for fish. That is a loafy piece of bread, Fletch. This is premium bait right here. It's a hot commodity down in Bikini Bottom, I'll tell you that. Drop it down, and we probably want about, about that. We're just gonna put this right here, let it dangle off the side of the boat. Oh, oh my god, my. they're schooling! Oh, they're schooling! Oh, oh my god, they're up in there. Hold on, hold on. It's about to go down, guys. This is this has got to be a double up. I no, it'll get us up in there. Get us up in there. Are you ready, Flush? Is that your bread? That was, was that with your worm? No, that's my that's my that's my little straw. Oh come on, right there in the in the freaking money zone. Oh! oh! <laughs> no! No, dude, he hammered. Oh, oh, Fletch, he ate oh, all the air. I'm snagged. Wait, I'm snagged. What just happened? Hold on, I gotta throw my bread in there. It's the only thing I got on. Hold on, top water bread, top water bread. No, I catch my bread off. <laughs> I'm double snagged, I'm snagged in two trees. Dude, we're so clutch, we're so clutch. I just don't know how that fish bit me and I mean, like, how do you bite it and just not eat it? It's like this big, you know what I mean? Yeah. Over here doing Fletcher's dirty work. Thank you, sir. I don't see any fish up here, Fletch. Not a fish in sight. While you get my lure off, I'm gonna cast with my other one. And I'll try not to get a second screen. What if I just cast with your own lure and then catch one? Dude, this thing looks good. That's all I'm saying. You might, you might be on to something. It's just a little meatball. All right, Noah, back to the task at hand here. Okay, I gotta reload what I had going on here. We had our sandwich ball that got turned into a Twizzler Whizzler after I threw it off, after I snagged. A lot of, a, a series of events unfolded and it did not pan out for either one of us. So that's, you know, that's basically the gist of it. But with that being said, we gotta get our head back in the game. Let's break off some more little Sammy action here. You know what thing is the is the move? Get more bread, more bread, small piece of meat or cheese in the middle. Bread that ball up. That's like a cheese ball. It's like, mm. Bread ball 2.0 coming at you live off the side of the boat. Dude, I'm about tired of changing this worm flush. Like, I'm about to go crazy, dude. For my <laughs> mental sanity, I just need to catch a fish on this. Like, And to be honest with you, I have some of the end pieces right there, but those are only half, dude. Half of them I just donated to the fish in the water. Like, when I saw this gummy worm on the hook, dude, I was for sure, like, I'm catching one first cast. Good thing we didn't put a time limit on this challenge. <laughs> yeah, that would have made things a little difficult. But let's be real, man. Watermelon red, like, it's just... <sighs> that might not look like your stereotypical watermelon red in the fishing world, but... The name is just there. I just truly think I need a bigger bait, dude. I, th I think they're wanting something. Something a little bit girthier? Girthy, dude. Like, ooh. like in the summertime, it's hot, man. They want they want one big bite, you know what I mean? Big 
dog's got to eat. Oh, oh, oh my God. Hello. Golly. Come on. Fletcher, Fletcher, Come on. Fletcher, Fletcher. That was like Fletcher, a four pound or two. Fletcher. Oh my god. That gosh. was that scared me <laughs> so bad. I know. What is going on and what are the chances of that, dude? He actually like I haven't had a fish eat that crazy in a long that time, was bro. Nuts. I haven't had a bite like that in years, dude. It happened to be on a gummy worm. What the heck is going on? Like he was a straight missile, dude. Like just <laughs> yeah. like there was no mission. Golly. Oh, oh no. no. All right. My um my reserves are coming to an end here. Three straws. That is not where you want to be. That's a little sketch, man. Like I'm scared for you. We're, we're gonna try to make it work. We're going for broke. We're using a two for one here. So we're gonna take this guy, put him here. Then we're going to apply another one, wrap it around this one to create some structural integrity for it. I call that the blue tadpole. Dude, that actually looks fire. Like, dude, oh, that oh, looks yeah. so fire. Oh, yeah. I... That's getting crushed. As long as this does not fall apart, this is this is getting the job done for me. Are your fingers sticky? It's so sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are too. It's oh, about here. to. It's honestly about to drive me crazy, dude. Like, I just can't take it anymore. <laughs> like, and and to know that a bass was literally at hair's length away and had it in its mouth i mean dude no Whoa. no oh no come on don't fall off blue tadpole where was he fletch it might have been a stick all right i didn't cast where you got bit but maybe his friend's there i'll just i'm honestly rooting for you fletch i want us both to get over these worms <laughs> like this, this is just torture we're uh we're at a crossroads here guys we have one clump of sour straw that uh you know is just not not looking great here this is basically useless at this point and we have one full sour straw left i don't know how i feel about this i i ate probably four of these which was a bad move <laughs> did you really that was not not a wise decision on my behalf you got one oh. no was that a snagger i'm pretty sure it was a fish dude yeah oh no Oh, dude, I do not think the gum is going to work well at all. This is really flimsy. Oh, no. It's probably hot, too. Oh, it's so melty. I'm just, I, you know, maybe I just need to chew it and clump it together. <laughs> you are crazy. <laughs> maybe that's what I need to do. Hold on, hold on. You really thinking outside of the box, Flesh. I like it. I've never seen Hubba Bubba so moldable and just so flimsy that everything is melting <sighs> oh! yes yes he ate the gummy worm <laughs> oh it's a decent one too dude hold on i'm putting on the, the hubba oh. <gasps> the... oh god the hubba the hubba gum is <laughs> something something all right i cannot believe he's gone bro did you just lose the fish? Yes, how did you no! <laughs> he came right off, bro. Like, oh I, I just, God. it was a good two pounder, too. Just totally, like, I would have literally been so far ahead if I just would have landed that fish. Well, you know, there's always, there's always next time. All right, Flesh. That was a heartbreak, dude. I'm not gonna lie. That was just, I finally felt like I achieved something in life. And, and it was taken away from me in, in 20 seconds. It's not about how hard you fall, no, it's about how you get back up, baby. This bubble gum won't even just like rotate over on itself like it's supposed to, because it's so freaking melty. I got like, gum chalk all over my freaking pants and my fingers. We're having a good time. I'm just gonna take a bite out of this roll instead of trying to unravel it. That's what I have to do, because it won't unravel, because it's so <laughs> melted. That's like a cardinal sin of bubblegum chewing, just to take a bite out of the hubba bubba roll. But look what these fish are making me do. No! My hubba. My hubba and my bubba. I got a small piece for you, if you want it. Yeah, give it here, give it here. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna need that. I promise my mouth's clean. I don't believe it, but you know, we're just gonna have to roll with it. Right now, I currently just 
took the gum Noah's been chewing. <laughs> this is, we're at an all time low. We're at an all time right? low. This is what it's resort to. I just gotta make this like, as Ned-like as possible. Look at that. It's a good looking, Ooh. it's a good looking piece right there. Oh. oh. Dude, it's like, it, that has to be a bluegill. Like there's no other if, ands, or buts. I'm talking just going ding, 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 ding. Wait till you feel it, dude. Oh, he's running with you like crazy, isn't he? Yeah, he just, yeah, that's definitely a bluegill. Hold on, hold on, hold I'm doing, on. I'm doing the same thing, dude. You think, you, you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking what you're thinking. It's time to catch me a bluegill. I'm doing the same thing, guys. We are whipping out. We're gonna try to get us a bluegill on board. We can just get something on board to start off. We're gonna catch a big bass on that worm here soon. Yeah, I didn't want it to have to come to this, but it came to it. And we're about to punish these fish for not eating our gummy worms and bubble gum. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, how disrespectful can these fish be to not just accept our offer? I'm putting a bobber on, dude. Bobber? I'm going straight bobber mode. I'm going, I got a little split shot. I've got a little clump of bread here. Small clump. I'm feeling like that is cash money. What are you throwing on? French fry? Chicken sandwich. At this rate, Fletch, I just want a dang fish in the boat. And if he doesn't like a delicious, tender, juicy Parker's chicken sandwich, then what? <laughs> What's the deal, bro? I think we're, I think we're just out of luck at that point. Yeah, like if they don't eat this, we got an issue. Time for the small bread ball. Tossing it out. Letting it get down here, baby. All right, here we go, boys. Split shot, bobber, mini brim hook. All right, come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, you have got, got to be kidding me. <laughs> he was on the whole time. Fish number one. <laughs> Dude, this little guy got the dang hook too. I think I can get it out. Maybe you need a small hook, Fletch. Yeah, no, I think I got the, uh, I think I got the wrong size hook, my friend. I thought we had some bigger bluegills that we were working with, but apparently, we got the uh, the hatchlings here. Dude, no, you could be one fish away from winning this right now. I know. I'd be going off. But guess what, dude? This does not seem like much, Fletcher. But guess what? <laughs> that is my first fish. Small fish, Thank big you, buddy. dreams. I wish I could just use them as a live bait right now. I know, that would be fantastic. What if all those rules applied? We need to do this again, guys, but there's no rules. <laughs> no rules. Well, there we go, boys. We got our first fish. Maybe it wasn't the uh, most exciting fish, but uh, <laughs> hey, we got something, man. With that being said, I'm going back to my Ned hook, and I might just use a different bait other than the Ned rig or other than the gummy worm. I'm not sure. I'm going to take a look and make an educated decision. But that gets my Parker's chicken sandwich off the list. We're switching it out, guys. We're going with the uh, the more compact hook, smaller bread. Just gotta con just press that up on there. Nice little bread ball. Mmm. That's a Michelin star meal right there, baby. Okay, we're dialed. We're dialed. I try not to get too excited when I catch a bluegill here, guys. But it's about to go down. Oh, 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 oh no, no, that was instant. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. They, they stripped me. Oh yeah, I'm stripped, I'm stripped. All right, boys, we are back to the gummy worm. I was gonna put on one of the uh, sour straw, not the sour straw, but my, my sweet tart rings. But to be honest with y'all, I'm feeling the gummy worm, man. You want me to stay here or you want me to move up some? Because I'm going to catch a big bass under that tree right there where he was jumping earlier, you know? You do that. You do that. I got my I got my eyes on bigger prizes Parker, here. You have no idea how much confidence that point zero 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 one pound bluegill just gave me, bro. <laughs> Is that turning the page? Oh, watch it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Let's go. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, that's actually a little meaty boy. Let's go. He's fighting good. No, this one's like three times the weight of Noah's. <laughs> Gosh, yeah. he really is. Maybe four. 
Yes, sir. We are on the board, guys. Bluegill secured. Got it on the Sammy. And he just, yeah, he was ready to go. You know, we're just going to release him just like that. Just how we drew it up, boys. Okay, okay. Two more baits to go. What do we use? We're, we're running low on supplies across the board. Um, I need to, I might need to dive back into my bag and get something out that we haven't used yet. I already used my sandwich. So I can't really use my sandwich meat. It's kind of double dipping. But we might have to go to the Jack Slinks 100% beef. 23 grams of protein peppered. Oh, dang, son. Mm. That is a fine piece of oh American made meat right there. Oh my gosh, Fletcher, I am in the zone. I'm in the zone like auto zone right now, brother. Oh no, parts. Oh no. Oh my gosh. No oh, <laughs> let's go, baby. No, I'm changing the GoPro. Let's go, baby. Oh, dude, this is a hefty fish. Yeah, you better not you Please. Better not play with her this time. I know. Get her in the boat. Dude, I mean, she's fighting really that hard. Come on. Dog in here, right? Dude, she's, yeah. I mean, she's actually pulling that hard, dude. I can't. <laughs> she pulled the boat around. Oh, gosh. Oh, she oh. threw the gummy. Yeah, she, she did. She threw the come gummy, here. I think. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey, yes. Let's, Let's go, baby. We got a bluegill on the bread, and we finally landed a bass on the gummy worm. They were, they were like, very interested in that gummy worm the whole time. Just could not land the fish. You know, we had a big one follow us in. And then also missed another fish, had him come off, and then just caught, what would you say, Fletch? Two, two and a half pounder, man. That's cool. Do you think you'll eat this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this Jack Link stick. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a that's a meat stick. All right, boy. Thank you for biting. Fletcher, that's two fish, brother. I need one more fish to win the challenge. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. My fish senses are tingling though now that I got this beef jerky tied on here. So guys, after having sticky shoes, sticky pedals, sticky boat, sticky hands. God, sticky everything. Sticky everything. The gummy worm's finally done, but I'm actually going to move to another gummy. Another gummy? <laughs> I think so, dude. What else did you pick out? I have to try it, dude. I have to try it. You're going to be like, dude, you got to try it. I feel like everybody's been waiting on this, man. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. The sweet tart ropes. Sweet tart ropes. Like, how can we not, bro? That's Part of me wanted to fish with the cheese stick, but I'm like, come on, man. We got sweet tart ropes, baby. <laughs> Those look better than the, than the gummy worms. I'll say that. I'm going to be honest. I didn't think the gummy worm was going to take five hours, but guess what? We got it done. We're here now. Can I taste test? Can I taste test? For sure. Money? Oh, yeah. Fire? Oh, yeah. That is absolutely fire. Like There's got this, like, cream filling. I don't know how that will hold up for just trying to rig this thing, but it's got this like ooey gooey cream filling. We ain't about to find out, Fletch. I don't want to use your whole piece of bait here and put that there as extra, but. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, bro. Yo, Fletch. Yo! <laughs> Yo, that goes crazy. That's actually insane. Oh my, oh my gosh. Yeah, you picked that was a, that's a winner there. That's a winner that's winner. A winner. Chicken dinner. Oh you know. The blood worm. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me see your bait. Let me see. Oh. Let me see your piece of schmeat. Oh <laughs> Alright, we got two crazy looking baits going on here. I mean mine is honestly looking way better. <laughs> mine looks like a pencil, dude. <laughs> I think got a pencil. You got a number two pencil on there. Dude, it's gonna take a monster to eat that thing. I'm telling you, dude. Straight lunker boy. Lunker territory. Oh, 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 no! Way. No! Ooh. You saw that! You saw that! You saw that, dude. That fish just came up and slurped my meat down. Dude, put another piece on him. <laughs> God. He he just took me for everything I got. Golly, dude. Dude, I can cast this thing so far too. The sweet tarts rope's looking crazy, man. You're putting the whole thing on? Well, that's what we gotta do, dude. I mean, I need that, I need that girth. <laughs> Bro, 
How big? Did you watch him eat it? Yes. Like a three pounder. Came up and just chomped it. Watch, I got a fish. No, you don't. No, you don't. He, he spit it oh, out. Oh, no. He spit it out. Dude, I'm talking rocked. The sweet tart, brother. <laughs> Look at this thing, Fletch. That might be better than your worms that you buy at the store. I mean, shoot, I'm about to start buying those instead of Cinco's. Come on, baby. Oh, you saw that. I you saw, saw that. my line running, bro. I saw that one. Oh my goodness. What does he want? Does he want the sweet tart or the <laughs> beef jerky? Dude, this fish is probably the same fish just wondering what the heck is going on. Like he's just being Oh, oh, you saw that? What? Like a three pounder just no. flutter. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Fletcher, hold on. Fletcher, oh. Fletcher, Fletcher, come on. Fletcher, Fletcher, oh. Fletcher. Oh, come back. Behind it still. He's behind it still. Come on, come on. Get that jerky in your mouth. Dude, that was a giant, man. Dude! Oh, you gotta be Joshua Dodds. Dude, you're on to something with that, bro. I'm like not even kidding. That's it's the jerky turkey. Dude, the casting distance on this thing is insane. Like, I could cast it. Oh! Oh! Holy, dude. What just happened? Sorry, I about took you out. <laughs> oh I about, I about put no in the afterlife there. <laughs> Put him six feet under. Dude, he ate your whole jerky? I told you you should have been conserving it, Fletch. Dude, I mean, that's how I get the action is the extra meat. Hold on, now we got, we still got a piece left. They're schooling on that thing better than a fluke. That's all I'm saying, dude. I don't know if it's gonna be the same with it small like this, though. See, it doesn't flutter the same. That's not, it just wants to go down too fast. Let it, let him eat. Yes, yes, oh, yes, no yes, on the jerky, the jerky jerk, oh, yes, God. yes. There is no way, bro. Two to two, baby, two to two. There is no way. The unfortunate news for me, though, is I'm really limited on options here. I got melted Twix bars, one sour straw, and bubble gum. That's <laughs> Golly. Honestly, I gotta give you something. Holy, holy, brother. I, I know we're playing against each other today, bro, but. Hey, when we're catching fish on be... some crazy stuff, you know, you gotta root for, you gotta root for the boys. I was just telling you to make sure he eats it too, and you're already hook setting. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that. I just can't let you be in there with a good looking bait like that. I got one sour straw left, baby, and you'll be if this challenge ends and I haven't used it. Is it all going to come down to the one sour straw that you saved? The final, the final countdown. Wait, 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 wait. Fletch. I have a weighted wacky rig, brother. A weighted wacky rig. Oh my. Oh my. I like it. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. Look. Oh, brother. It looks exactly like a wacky rig, bro. But it, it looks like it's probably going to break. Is that a Gary Yamamoto Cinco you got on? Are you cheating, bro? I swear. Oh, oh no way. I got bit, dude. I got bit. Oh, this might be the blue gill. Dude, I'm getting hammered, Fletch. Yes, yes, oh, yes. On the hubba. On the hubba. On the hubba bubba. Let's go. Oh, don't, don't, don't call to come back. Let's freaking go. <laughs> and straight up, dude, that was my last piece of hubba bubba. I would have had to really have conjured up something crazy to get a bite. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down, Jimmy. Calm down, Jimmy. Well, there it is, guys. On the Hubba Bubba. Signed, sealed, and delivered, baby. That's how it's done. I'm not even mad at you, Fletch. Good, man. Good day of fishing. You thought you had it in the bag. I really did. But the Hubba Bubba is unmatched, baby. Here you go, honey. Off you go.